Hello everybody, welcome to not Samurai Showdown 64, because I don't think you can emulate that. Where's... The Neo Geo CD or 64, whatever, is still far, far beyond this. I'm far not... beyond human comprehension. I'm not sure if Neo Geo CD actually, like, I think that might emulate. 64, though, is like, that's just going to be a mystery that nobody can solve. But anyway, um... This is no mercy, except it has a load of people in it. <laughs> and what I did, um, was I handpicked about, like, 40 people. It actually ended up being, like, 41, coincidentally, so I had to leave, like, a guy out. But I did that, ran it through random.org, and save state at a Royal Rumble. So, uh, I suppose we can get the ball rolling. <laughs> Because I have a safe state. Oh, we got full intros. Right. That's very convenient. <laughs> and there's La Parca. I had to... I kind of cheated. Uh, I made it so that I was playing as him at the, at the start. But since he's like player one, he's not really going to win. Because, I mean... Oh, what's he going to do? No, he's not going to do his dance. Not yet, no. Yeah, some of the taunts in this game are kind of weird. Oh, wait, who? Oh, that's the Miz. Okay. It's just that the name tag didn't show up. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um... I don't... I'm not sure, but I'm not... I don't think the Blue Meanie actually does, like, his belly dancing taunt. Either that or, like, what I saw wasn't accurate. I don't really know, but... The Miz, more like the Wiz. Why the Miz? Because he's Johnny Cage. Ah, Drago. Yeah, Jelly Tongue, as I call him. All right, I forgot this one has like South Park signs in the audience. Yeah, thankfully it's only one. Well, it's repeated a couple of times, but is the nut punch in this game? There's actually several. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really excited to see what the studio has in store. And, and Ultima Dragon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when they don't have intro animations, it just skips their nameplate. Because uh, full entrance is... Uh... Oh, oh. <laughs> he's changing his mind. <laughs> yeah, you could probably tell the full entrances weren't, you know, officially supported anymore, considering. Is he going to climb up on nothing? Oh. Okay, well. Here we go. Oh, maybe I gotta turn that down a little bit. And. Oh, you're all the way up. Okay. We can get the party started now. I think the weirdest part. Was that? I think the weirdest part is that, like. This Miz is like immediately dated, kind of. <laughs> he doesn't really wear this outfit anymore. This mod isn't like super recent, I don't think. This is like at least a year old, I think. I didn't even think he wore that like a year ago. Like he's been wearing like black trunks and black boots for like the past couple years. Hmm. Not sure that there there are some decisions I'm pretty. Uh... Hold on, that's not his dance. That's not his dance either. Get away from me. Here he goes. Hey! hey there we go. Hey! <laughs> Leave us alone! Ult Ultimo Dragon has no respect for the dance. <laughs> Let me dance in peace, damn it. Yeah. Okay. So the controls I have set up for this emulator are, like, almost reversed. Because it wouldn't let me use the analog stick for the C button, so, uh... You're gonna have to use a D-pad for it? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, my No Mercy mod is probably, like, it's... 
I am taking moves from like their sources, like Lee from Tekken will play like Lee from Tekken. But it's just like, you know. <laughs> I've been modding this game a disturbingly long time. I've only just recently gotten good at it, is the thing. <laughs> I think I've been modding this on and off for like nine years. I've only been good at it for about maybe a year. Hey, you're getting close to having a full-fledged mod. Yeah. Uh, hey! <laughs> also, yeah, there's, um, there's a weird, like, stumble mechanic where you can't hit them, but you can grab them. Ugh. Also, the Miz is suddenly, uh, on fire. As NBA Jam would put it. Wait a minute, it just occurred to me, why does it say that's Super Dragon? Oh, yeah. That's Ultimo yeah. Dragon. I'm not actually sure. I don't remember it saying that. Do they occupy a similar safe or similar slot or something? I'm not sure. Is that like a fake ultimate dragon or something? I could have sworn it said ultimate when I picked him. Ah! Yeah! Um. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to pretty much safe state with every elimination, cause, uh, due to this being like a patched ROM, it kinda glitches up sometimes. Hey! Okay, okay. Hey! You canceled your special animation. I have to have time to actually do the special as the thing- Hey! You can't counter that! That's against the rules! Uh, it's more storious now. This is an emulator, uh, considering I, I do not believe this mod would work on an emulator at all. Ugh. This has been replaced by prototype Luke Harper. <laughs> Uh-oh. Drago's got attitude now. Get off of me, Jelly Tongue! Do you think he ever accidentally swallows that tongue? That weird fake tongue? He might. But if it's like jelly or something, it's... Oh, it can work on more emulators. Cool. Like... Yeah, like I said, I'm probably gonna just gonna make the mod with everything I have now and then probably update accordingly. Well, uh, his neck's broken. <laughs> okay, dude. Hey! I was trying to do a taunt here. So far, so good. We're still low on spirit, but... <laughs> Fun fact, uh, that's my win animation in my mod. <laughs> it's a good animation for that. Yeah. I think it's, uh, according to the F8, Taunt FAQ, I think it's Great Sasuke's dance or something. Uh, the song in the background is from Air Guys. I don't know which one because it's just a YouTube playlist I have in the background. Oh no, no! Ah oh, well. The hubris. Well, let's see who we got. Oh, it's another Lucha Underground guy. <laughs> Big Rake? It's Big Rick, but it's stylized. I uh, saw so, uh, so the way it was spelled, it was like, is Dan Riker coming out? <laughs> Man, Dan looks different. Oh, is it Ezekiel Jackson? Is it? I only know him as Big Rick. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is Ezekiel Jackson. Huh. I just knew him as the guy that was, like, chomping cigars. Like, oh, no! No, get back in there! <laughs> Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, he's the last ECW champion, okay. Yeah, I mostly know him because he was the big dude in Lucha Underground that just sat in the benches smoking cigars. I just know him because he had a cool nickname, Big Zeke. <laughs> yeah. Oh, running grapples, yeah, that's, that's very important. I find it hard to live without running grapples in these games. Yeah, Drago's still in there. The thing is, the main thing that this has over Virtual Pro Wrestling is that you can have women in it. And also, I like, you know, having names for each bar. Uh... Also and, important, you can use a big, big brick of cheese as a weapon. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> I could probably attempt just making the models look like women. But... I was messing with uh, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2 the other day, and I forgot that you can use a sickle in it. Ah! The sickle is nice, but is it a giant can of Steve Weiser? It is not. <laughs> How is Drago still in here? It's probably just because I'm not great at this game. Ah! Whoa, what the f Ah! Well, there's the glitching out I mentioned. Fact, uh, let me just save state real quick. Okay. Yeah, like, Paige, uh, her finisher just glitches the game out horrifically every single time. Also, the test of strength is back. And I won. Somehow. Uh, wait. Maybe not. I don't... <laughs> God, Drago, just get out of here, man. That was unnecessary. Yeah. Bruiser Brody with supernatural powers. I mean, if he, if he That's fought... That's Luke Harper. <laughs> it's basically Marstorius if he ever fought a good Marstorius player in Karnovs. Which I have. It's scary. Drago, I swear to God. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, alright. Okay. Right, thank you for uh, clipping that. <laughs> I'll have to upload that later. No, they don't have uh, wrestling returns for GameCube. I'm not. I don't believe any Fire Pro game is on that system. Oh, well, PS2 had technically PS3. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, my special is suddenly maxed. Again, comeback mechanics. Which yeah, they added it to where I think if you get beat up like really bad, like your bar just suddenly fills up. Oh, God! Don't ruin this for us. Okay. He's got taunt a couple of times. Yeah, it basically got turned into Street Fighter 4. <laughs> now for a uh, Big Rick's Ultra. Good enough. Yeah, we got him out of there. Like yeah, I said, free of Drago. <laughs> Who's next? Ah, it's my Philly. Re meaty. It's my Philly representative. He was also an ECW guy, right? He just looks like one. He was predominantly ECW guy. Yeah. Yeah, I think WrestleMania 2000 was like the only time he was in a game officially. One, 
Yeah, like I said, all these characters are handpicked, so, uh... Thing is, I... Like I said, I ran them through random.org in terms of order, so I'm not actually sure who's going to be coming up every time. Ugh. Like how Bruiser Brody and, uh, Super Ultimo Dragon have just been, uh, fighting each other this entire time. Kind of cleaning the house, almost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Okay, let's, let's keep him in the ring more than that. <laughs> also, I don't remember Big Rick doing this many backflips in Lucha Underground. <laughs> Oh yeah, another uh, feature of this game. Instead of the bell ding during low blows, it's like a randomized... It's a randomized sound from like a list of like five or something. Oh man, that would be great. If I had to do like an Aki trilogy game, I'd be putting like so many weird people. It's like instead of Hogan, you just get like Alex Wright or something. That'd be good. Alex Wright's much better. Yeah. Monkey's pawn ends up being burly and... <laughs> yeah, thanks to, uh... Thanks to the way Free M's, uh, ROM is said, I can actually just edit Hogan to be somebody else, probably. I'll just make him to be, like, Hawk. <laughs> they replace, uh, The Rock with, like, Doom guy, since he was technically Doom guy at one point. Are you really? Is that what, like he was uh, in that Doom movie? He was like the main character, right? I just Rock. Yeah, the Rock. Uh, he was a he was like a deuteragonist, but then also antagonist. I think. Huh. Oh man, I would love it if uh, he could put the uh, Doom guy mask in there. Oh, is this, uh... One second. This is Final Fantasy music! Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Did that hit two people at the same time? I think that's a first. Fun fact, Bruiser Brody was made out of metal. Hey look, I pulled up the Air Guys soundtrack, I forgot it had Final Fantasy remixes in it. <laughs> Ugh. Bruiser Brody was the model for Mecha Zangief. <laughs> you know, I'd believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Big Rick's actually a lot more agile than I expected him to be. Whoa, what? That wasn't natural. Huh. Damn it. Well, see you later, Big Rick. Eliminated. Who do we get this time? Giant Baba. <laughs> Mario in uh, SmackDown was built off of Baba, so I guess in a way we're kind of playing as Mario again. Yeah, he looks a lot less giant here. <laughs> Whoa. What the? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of Alex, right? Uh. This, this Baba, I can't get over the fact that his arms are normal here. It doesn't look tiny. No. I'll say, yeah. It doesn't look as tiny as it should. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to save state again, because, uh, Ultimo Dragon was just fighting an invisible guy there. 
Yeah, like I said, I've passed this ROM, like, several times, and it seemed to have unique problems every time. I can't believe Arnold Skiska Janaka's in this rumble. <laughs> he might be in every rumble, you just wouldn't know. God, he must, really must be Super Dragon, because he's been in here for, like, forever. I'm sorry, Giant Baba doing dodge rolls is hilarious. <laughs> Scott Steiner's arms were a catastrophe. Whoa, what? You can just... You can just remove the arms part, and it would still make sense. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, you thought you could... Ah, damn it! He's being rude as hell right now. That that's Blue Meanie. <laughs> I thought Blue Meanie was a friend. Also, no, nobody got bleeped out. It's just one of the sounds that can happen when you get hit with a low blow. <laughs> We're already bleeding. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> bleeding because it's ECW. <laughs> Mr. T. <laughs> I love that Mr. T and Annie Kaufman are characters in this game, and it actually makes sense that they're in there. I also like how his uh, name tag implies that Mr. T was primarily like a WWF guy more than an actor. I know it's like, yeah, well, he's, uh, he showed up in early WWF, uh, I guess that's what we used the there. first WrestleMania. <laughs> I mean, you have to start with a bang, you know? Alright, let's get Ultimate Dragon out of here. Or, whoever, whichever dragon that is. Super Ultimo Dragon. <laughs> oh, I got fake Mr. Ultimo Dragon, fake Super Dragon, whatever the hell they are. <laughs> uh, we got a build up meter. What, are, what the hell are these songs? Hold on. Okay. I just, I, I gotta get the dragon now. <laughs> I kicked him. Okay. <laughs> oh man, he totally ripped off Yoshimitsu. Just <laughs> <Mr>. the dragon. <laughs> Yoshimitsu came way before Giant Baba, obviously. I don't know why Baba has the mist. Is that not a thing he did before? I... I couldn't tell you. Also, it's Kidman. It's Itchy Guy. You know, I was playing, uh... When I was looking back on WCW and W Revenge. One of the odder parts is that Billy Kidman looks almost nothing like Billy Kidman in that game. Everybody was kind of just a vague interpretation of the wrestler. There were some that were pretty close, like uh, Hooventude looked pretty close. Uh, some of them were just a bit too generic looking for that style. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. That's <laughs> fair, Specter. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. See, that's why I feel like I probably would have liked WCW a bit more. It's because the characters are a bit weirder in WCW. I believe Tajiri had a... Yeah, I was actually... Man, Wrath got the short end of the stick so bad that he was actually cut from WCW and WWE Revenge for some reason. And yeah, sick boy. I could only find one video of him on the mic, so that says a lot. Two, 
I think sometime if I can actually get screaming stuff together, I want to play WCW versus the world. That'd be cool. I don't. I think that's like the one WCW hockey game that like I barely see anyone talk about or play. Yeah, it's kind of like the the odd duck, I guess. Uh oh. Oh. Oh come on! <laughs> counter, counter, slam master. I don't know why the counter voice got a bit guilty gear for, there. But. Yeah, if you can screw for. The blaze blue counter noise. Counter. <laughs> counter. Romantic. RVD should be in every wrestling game. He isn't this, he just didn't end up in the lineup. Or maybe he did, I don't know. It was like 5 in the morning when I made this list, so I don't quite remember some of it. Doesn't WCW vs. the World also have Glacier in it, too? I know, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. He was actually, uh... Yeah, I actually Dim mentioned Dim Sum yesterday. <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, question for you. Favorite Soul Calibur character besides Kami Kitty Moosey? Um. Probably tell him. That's fair. Maybe some, yeah. Mine ended up being Setsuka. Oh, I can't forget about her. Yeah. Even though I couldn't play her for crap. I don't think a lot of people could. I think my favorite fake name is, like, the first, uh,. The first Hayabusa uh, stand-in, he was just named Hannibal, I think. So I guess if you wanted to make an accurate Hannibal Burris in uh, in a wrestling game, just make him play like Hayabusa. And it's Yokozuna. I forgot if I put Rikishi in here too. So considering that I've primarily seen Yokozuna in the WrestleMania arcade game, it's weird seeing him with like a beard. <laughs> hey look, he ran in WrestleMania the arcade game, so... I don't need my permission. Although, uh, I'm not one for Guilty Gear's music. It's too, uh, it runs together for me. Some of the Korean soundtrack is pretty good, though. Controversial opinion. I like the Korean soundtrack more than the original Double X one. Oh, me too. Like, absolutely. <laughs> I love Faust's theme in that. I think I had Biken's theme from the Korean version as, like, an alarm for a little while. <laughs> Nothing like Biken to start your day, I suppose. Alright, safe state. Safe state? Get out of here, Mr. T. Okay, who, who we got? Uh, it's everybody's favorite referee. At least so, he's our favorite referee. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the thing is, I only know of Paul London from you using him as a special referee. I don't know anything else about him. Uh, he's primarily a flippy dippy kind of wrestler guy. Oh, what now? He's predominantly like a flippy dippy kind of wrestler guy. Ah. He's so probably a guy I'd be really into then. Uh, Yokozuna's stuck. He's so, uh, he's so, uh, man, me, so unstuck him. What a good guy. <laughs> and yeah, I guess, uh, you could say that Aki Man is in this game since Misawa's in it. But, uh, 
I think Poland's thing right now in Lucha Underground is like a weird kind of sort of clockwork orange thing. Really? I can picture him as white from Fatal Fury. Okay, actually, like, apparently closer to uh, Wizard of Oz, according to Emmy. Huh. But still just weirdo. Which is fair because he actually is a weirdo in real life. Is he? I'll have to show you a particular promo once the stream's done. <laughs> oh, the, the specific promo that Spectre just mentioned, actually. I'm excited to see this. Oh. oh! Come on, you're supposed to be the ref. Don't you know playing special referees in this game is really difficult, though? Yeah. Apparently the manual doesn't even tell you half the controls and the game doesn't help you out either. So, uh, is it me or is you because he don't, like, barely wrestle? He's just been standing there. Hey, why is everybody ganging up on Baba? Also, my special ran out. Oh, wait, no, I think this might be a special? <laughs> uh, okay, what do you think of the new guy in MK11? I have actually not seen footage of him. Uh, apparently he was revealed while typically I was busy at work. And uh, I didn't really have time to look at him when I came home, so I guess we'll know afterwards. Whatever happened to the Hardy Boys and Lita? Uh, Lita is in this rumble, so... That's all I got. <laughs> Whoa, what the... I have to change the soundtrack. One second. Uh, kind of forgot how many how much generic like dungeon music is in uh, Air Guys. Uh, yeah, let's just go back to the Tekken Two uh, soundtrack. It's uh, served us well before. I was not expecting the character that I'd get the biggest mileage out of would be Giant Baba, but here we are. Giant Baba and his normal sized arms. <laughs> Moderately sized Baba. Thing is, uh, Baba had a completely unique body type in uh, Virtual Pro Wrestling 2, and that is not present, no mercy, since Baba wasn't, so. And Bob is such a weird man that he has to have, like, basically a unique body type in any game that he is in. Yeah. Yeah, somebody... Oh, Paul London just... Oh, hold on. Hey! Baby. hey! Come on, man. Misama and Papa was totally like a tag team at some point in history. <laughs> yeah, probably. Not from the same promotions, I see. Giant Papa's moveset makes more sense if you imagine Great Muda doing the moves. Is that what's... Yeah, the Royal Rumble might actually be messing that up. Wait, so is this Great Muda instead? <laughs> oh, that might be what's ah, going shit, on. shit, you might be right. Yeah. Damn. Well... Now Giant Muda, and hey, it's Nakamura, the actual Shinsuke Nakamura. It's a Melv stream first. Okay, if it's a Royal Rumble, the character automatically goes to the first move set. That's that actually kind of bites. So I, uh, so half of these characters aren't like who they are then. So is Paul London not actually Paul London? <laughs> oh. I would explain why Ultimo Dragon Camp was Super Dragon then. Whoa! Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> uh... 
Well, that's not right. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Oh god, it time traveled to Mr. T being here again. Well, one man. It's Mr. Small Package. <laughs> Paul London at it again? Hey, Paul. <laughs> Damn it. He became the pod he always wanted to be. Jesus Christ. God damn it. Why is this so glitchy? The ROM I'm patching must be, like, not the right one or something. I'm not sure what's going on. You can't pull Ligden? <laughs> I like... <laughs> My favorite thing about that was the camera change. Okay. Not that it's specifically zoomed in on it. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Just to remind us, like, yeah, you, you broke it. <laughs> Check this shit out. Yeah, like I said, Paige's finisher makes all sorts of weird things happen, so I almost hope that we get to see that. I definitely put her in here. I mean, how could I not, you know? Got another Q and A there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Favorite Tekken character is a question that requires no thought to answer. It's Asuka. It's one of the most Sasha characters I've ever seen in my life. I actually. Kinda can't easily answer that because, like, there's so many favorites. Okay, so we're caught up now. Uh. I'll be it's slightly different because I don't. Because, yeah, Yoko's didn't get eliminated last time. Right, yeah. Oh no, great Baba! <laughs> Maybe that's why he's, uh, he's normal size. Maybe it's just Muda dressed up as Baba. Ah. See, the thing is, I know so little about wrestling that, like, I didn't notice until the mist. Because that's, like, kind of a distinct sort of uh, move there. Yeah. What game do you prefer? Uh, well, no mercy out of those. It just has the most stuff. It's the most customizable too, I think. Yeah, you know, I think Shaq was actually, he showed up, like, after this mod was made, I think. Bye, Aki Man. Bye, Misawa. <laughs> Who we got now? Oh. Yeah. Oh, hell. <laughs> it's Japan's Hulk Hogan, Antonio Inoki. Oh, uh, that's not good. I don't know anything about him, I just know he's, like, important or something. And also the guy from Aragice is based off of him. Whoa, whoa! Ah! Probably save this. Okay. Ah, jeez! Get out of here! You might not even be Paul London. I'm not even sure anymore. Okay. One, two, Alright, the greatest ref ever is out. 
save. That would be Armor King's theme. That's a million dollar, man. I think might be who he actually is, so. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, he doesn't seem to be, like, turned on right now. I think somebody needs to power him back on. Sakamura fighting Anoki is, like, his wet dream. Anoki's, that is. <laughs> well, I'm glad, you know, if he ever watches my stream. Or our stream, really. Uh, we might have a fan. <laughs> also, Baba's also made out of metal. We've been Baba, or... Uh, <laughs> sorry, we've been Muda for a long time. Ugh. Jesus. Uh, did Ted DiBiase ever have Adon's Jaguar tooth kick? Because, uh, he just did it. Alright, who we got now? Oh, it's Hayabusa. A.K.A. Hanzo Mon. A.K.A. Hannibal. A.K.A. H. Was he really called that? Yeah, for a brief while in his career, he just called himself H. <laughs> Habanero? <laughs> <laughs> the spiciest ninja around. H there. H. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he actually called that in WCW versus the world? Oh wait, no. Okay, that's the real thing. So I know Hayabusa works. Because I was playing as him in a rumble and he did like all the taunts that I recognized, so that's the real deal. As for like Muay Thai Ted DiBiase here, I'm not really sure, but who could say? Ugh. Hold on. Let's see, I should save. Okay, but who would win? Muay Thai Ted DiBiase or Muay Thai Vince McMahon? Ted DiBiase. Understandable. Come on, eliminate me. I want to be somebody else now. Damn yeah, you pulled me back in! It's like the opposite of what you want to do. This is not Roger's theme, this is Bruce's theme. Um... Hi, <laughs> Bruce has just sat through us. Nakamura wanted to save us, but, uh, he was too late. Giant Bubba just spinning in place there for a second. <laughs> Alright, here we got. Oh! Well, we're... Psychosis. <laughs> well, uh, we were Leparka, and now we're Leparka's partner. Thing is, due to the Royal Rumble, he's also Leparka now. <laughs> so... Second chance. Maybe it's actually just Leparka in a different mask. Could be. And he's got That's long hair. is. He's got long hair too, I think. I've actually seen... Is it Seacosis? Is that how you say it? I think so, yeah. yeah. I've seen him unmasked. Because I just look around. But I never saw L.A. Park unmasked. I think he... Has not lost a Up West Us match yet. 
Though I think they're building up to one between him and Dr. Wagner at uh, next year's Triple A Mania. Huh. Triple Mania. Maybe we'll find his true identity. <laughs> but for right now, we're, we're, we're him. Because. <laughs> Damn it! Now there's no Triple H in this rumble, I forbid it. Ah! There will be no demons in this rumble. <laughs> Which presumably means Shelton Benjamin is also banned from this rumble. I don't actually remember if he is. I might have put them both there just for, like, the sake of them being, like, the villains last time. And thanks to this rumble, it means they're both the same character. Juice break. Foreshadowing for, uh... Oh, jeez. Foreshadowing for a, a certain juicy person that'll show up later. Who I, I believe he plays like himself, even though he's like... Or maybe it's somebody very similar, I'm not really sure. He does a lot of the same taunts, too, so... <laughs> But yeah, like, you know, more slots would be great and everything, but if this is what's going to happen, if, like, you know, different costumes have different movesets, I'm just going to stick with what I have. Or just kind of stick to how No Mercy did it, which was just make a weird combination moveset. Yeah. Which is which is what they did for, like, Mula and uh, Taka and Funaki. Yeah, Taku Funaki had to share a slot, but Mick Foley gets to be three characters that are barely different from each other. Jeez. Performed this finisher on us twice. To be fair, I don't think, like, Dude Love wasn't even, like, in the final game. Nah. He was in 2000, though, I believe. Supposed to be, like, a bonus for playing the Game Boy version that never came out. <laughs> You can still play the Game Boy story, though, which uh, we will do once the mod is finished. I'm kind of wondering, like, how how far into development the Game Boy version might have gone. Yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, DiBiase is Roddy Piper in disguise. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of sad that never got finished, because I just kind of want to see, like, what it would even be like. Sorry, soundtrack keeps going. It keeps going in and out here. One, two. Ah. Get out of here. Yeah, I'm thinking like if nothing else. No Mercy Game Boy Color would have been like WrestleMania 2000 Game Boy Color. Hmm. Which was okay? Maybe I'll have to give that a look one day. Uh, whose theme is playing now? Uh, this is uh, Gonneries. The BWE trail sucks. Fuck the old dudes with the suitcase guns. They are terrible. <laughs> One, uh, special. Yeah. A good Leparkinator from, uh. I don't actually know if that's the move. What the? Did Hyatt Bruce just kick it out it? Like, interrupt that for no reason? Yeah, 
Jesus. Uh, Tim Fallon did the soundtrack for War for the Warzone Game Boy port. Huh. Oh, I, I selected Scott Hall. Big trouble for me. Also, he is definitely Scott Hall since he was the first slot, so. Nakamura is a custom character, and it, he was only he was the only character in his slot, so. Uh, Hall? Hall? Okay. <laughs> like what? Wouldn't do anything. Just moonwalking. Yeah. Oh, whoop. Messed up. Oh, no! Jesus. Uh, Nakamura's leg hurts. It's time to take him out. Ah, Jesus. Not the way this is going, though. Safe state, real quick. Okay, I took a little bit of a listen to the WF Four Zone Game Boy Colors. I mean, it's definitely a late Tim Fallen career soundtrack. Because <laughs> it just kind of. It's not much. Well, this is Heiachi's thing. sure how many Tim Fallen soundtracks I've actually listened to in my lifetime of playing video games. I know I, uh, the guy from Plock made a game that I played, so. And the guy who composed the music for Plock, I mean. The ECW zombie is not in this. Well, I think they have to be like stars or something resembling that to even be in here. Oh. Did we get the juice? That'd be an interesting idea for the. Uh, that'd be an interesting idea for the ex for an extra slot in O'Malley, though. Yeah. Hey, should we go, Roddy Piper? Uh. I've actually decided, speaking of extra slots, uh, he is going to be in our project as Domaniac. So. Wait, did I already mention that yesterday? Uh, no, I don't think so, actually. Yeah, I was just throwing in some extra slot ideas, like Kyrie from Street Fighter EX. I was just like, we don't have enough Street Fighter EX in here, so. Although I could always... I think his Blair Dame's like hair isn't really in that game, but ah, eh, who knows? Hey, what? Hey, you gotta play the Piper. I am playing the Piper right now. Is Roman Reigns in this one? Yes, he is. Because he's like, you know, a big star and, uh... He's the big dog. Yeah. He's not in this rumble, though, but... He is in here. So, Roddy Piper has, like, the eight on kicks. The Yeti is not in this because Ron Reese is far from a big name. It's a... I, he's I a big name all the wrong reasons. <laughs> I feel bad kind of saying that because he seems like a really nice guy, but... <laughs> this is, yeah, when your biggest role is like a dude in Raven's flock, you know? <laughs> Of a tag team there. Hayabusa's been in here for quite a while, huh? Well, 
I'm only halfway done with this. <laughs> Honestly, this didn't even feel like an hour to me. <laughs> Low blow you off the ropes. <laughs> hey, speaking of Lita. It may not actually be Lita. I'm not sure. Oh, so Sorry. To answer the question, fuck Azazel, he's the worst. Yeah, he's the worst in like every way. Frick Steiner! Don't freeze Gribbly! That's better than uh being a mummy from a block of ice that try hold um Hulk Hogan. Well you know. That's the thing, like, they called him the Yeti because of the whole ice thing, but he's also a mummy, so it's just... I don't know. Ugh. I looked over and Rick Steiner was just getting kneed in the face over and over again. Apparently that broke the game. Okay. No problem. Hyabrus is just gonna have to get eliminated again. Hyabrus gets Prince of Persia back into the ring. <laughs> Like how, yeah, low-blowing Lita just broke the game. <laughs> uh. Our special ran out, but we reversed the hell out of her, so... Look. Except for the... then. Uh. It's not Lace Thane, it's, uh, Jones. Lita suddenly has attitude now. That should have like launched her right out of the ring. Yeah. But oh, hey, the game didn't die that time. Oh, it's the six seconds of magic. Where you kind of just do that. Well, whatever the hell that was. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm guessing that... I don't because she was like slot three or something, so... At first, I was kind of bummed out by the glitches, but the combinations are kind of strange, so... <laughs> In a way that I kind of appreciate, so... Uh... Just didn't land that at all. I right, Bruce, you, you've been in here for like two... Oh, God! I suppose it's better for her to do that mood, so... That, like, shooting star press thing there than the weird... The weird moonsault, the weird dangerous looking moonsault that she does. Yeah. Oh god, Hayabusa, just stay down, man. So I keep hitting him with that and I just hear like this, and then he just. He just crumples. Yeah. One of the more disturbing animations in this game. Alright, let's work Steiner again. Damn it! 
Do I lead a Kim? for the next Def Jam game. It would be interesting to have like an actual wrestler in those in those games. If you're gonna get anybody in the Def Jam game, it should be John Cena. I was just thinking that, yeah. It was like what's like a wrestler that's kind of like musician themed? And yeah the <laughs> John Cena actually had a rap album and it's pretty pretty decent. Oh really? That's the yeah. part that surprised me. <laughs> oh god. The counters on counters are what kill me. Brady Savage from Def Jam. Oh yeah, yeah. The Macho Man uh The Macho Man Dis album. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he have a rap album or yeah, it was a rap album. <laughs> it was just a, like a bunch of diss tracks. Understandable because a lot of them were diss tracks about Hulk Hogan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, who we got now? Goldust. And he was slot one, so this is definitely him. I'll taunt to prove it. Wait, no, that's not it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he didn't. He doesn't do the sharp exhale there. Characters really aren't voiced in these games for the most part. WCW and WWE Revenge had like a couple of clips, but story text editing is possible. No mercy. I would love to make a Def Jam branch showing the rise of D Mob. That I would love that, but I have no idea how like the stories are actually set up. Funnily enough, I think like it's possible, but like very, very like complicated. Because, like, remember the, the Steam Ham's Death uh, No Mercy video? That actually was not a story edit. Oh, it wasn't? Yeah, that was just him, like, video editing with a whole bunch of, like, the animations being played and everything. Oh. Hey, it's, Very uh... So, China was a slot four character, so I don't know who she is here. <laughs> she might be Triple H. <laughs> Get away from us! This is King's theme. Yeah, that might be Triple H, because I think that's the same knee drop. Got all these weird combinations here. Okay. Lita! You have to go down! Final cut. <laughs> I had the safe state there, because I wasn't sure if his finisher was hacked. So just to be on the safe side here. Ah! Yeah, the thing is, we kind I kind of did a similar logic with that, but I think it was more archetypes than their story bits, because I've actually not played the story enough to really know what roles they are. Which actually kind of works in context of the stream, because it's like more of an element than a surprise that way. I'll say I forgot to mention I just ended up replacing Shane McMahon with Tommy Wiseau, because I, I just didn't know where to put him. But, you know, Wiseau seems like a guy that would buy his way up, so... Did Katana teach Goldust to do the butt bump? It's an interesting question there. Damn it. Hold on. That's better. Yeah. One, two, 
the hell are we doing? Ugh. So I find it strange that Gold Dust taunts are in this game, but I don't think Gold Dust ever showed up in an Aki game officially. I remember hearing he was planned for WrestleMania 2000, but they didn't add him. So that might be why? Aki text editor. Oh, wow. Huh. <laughs> that, uh, that honestly took me by surprise seeing that. I am even more excited now. And what we could do with no melee with that? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, obviously, we need to play the default story, but with our characters, but god, like, we could just, after that, we could just make our own thing. That would be amazing. Lita, you have been in here for, like, way too long. Get! A vandal slam! Hey, we actually landed a post move. Imagine that. With gold dust, of all people. Oh uh, man, Free M, you're you're doing God's work, man. <laughs> like honestly. Okay. Make this like China, but you have to like you have to like kind of emphasize the H so that there's three H's in it. Like China. China. Yeah. There's a lot you can do with Triple H's name. The so I see title story should just end with like someone's about to say what it is, and then just it cuts to black. <laughs> Everybody died. <laughs> uh oh. We got attitude from that. So, I remember downloading a couple of uh, custom stories with one of the older SmackDown games. I don't remember which one it is, of course. But, uh, I do remember <laughs> there was a story that was called Big Show Sucks. And it was a bunch of wrestlers, like, <laughs> coming up there. He's like, Big Show, you suck. And he goes, no, I don't. And there's a couple of matches where you beat him. And then the story ends with him going, wow, I really do suck. And then the story just ends. Of course, nothing is ever, ever going to top ghost problems. Oh, absolutely And ghost problems more. <laughs> uh, Sling Blade wants to know what your favorite tag two ending is. The forest law is ending. Yeah. With a weird, like, paper craft thing. <laughs> I was considering going back and uh, making some more custom story bits for uh, with the PSP SmackDown game, but uh, I don't think anybody saw what I made, so I just kind of didn't after that.
Whoa, what the? Um, um, wait up. Yeah, I did, I did remember reading, uh, that you were going to make a Yeti, like, uh, <laughs> as you put in an echo fighter uh, and I'm really curious what that would uh, be like damn <laughs> Chavo's eliminated get him out of here that uh, elder to grow yeah Chavo immediately eliminated as soon as he comes in hey we're paid uh oh <laughs> save state yeah I guess it helps that this isn't page that may explain why he's freaking out. Paige is another one of those people that's like, I don't know a whole lot about her, but I like her already. Uh, kind of Cliff's Notes version, youngest WWE Divas champion of all time. Uh, debuted by basically beating AJ Lee in, for the title. Hmm. Uh, kind of popped in and out, had a really weird period of her life that we won't talk about here. Right. Came back and then suffered a career-ending injury. Oy. Now, I think... I don't know if she still is, but she was general manager of SmackDown for a bit. I don't know if she still is or not. I will have to look into that. Oh, God! I think she might be AJ Lee. I think that was the slot she was in. Oh, come on! Oh, we finally get to be the goth girl, and then she gets eliminated in, like, two seconds. The glitchy goth girl. Yeah. Oh, and now we're raven. <laughs> this guy works correctly, so... You can tell, because he does this. I like how he has very distinctive taunts that are just him being, like, lazy. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's his whole character. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Leave me alone. This is the laws. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to learn how to hack music into No Mercy, because I have so many ideas. One. Jesus Christ, that punch. <laughs> Honestly, I think Raven had probably one of the most interesting gimmicks in WCW. Yeah. Just, I have such a fucking ironclad contract that I'm just gonna not fight or defend my title and just send my lackeys out instead. Hmm. I do like, uh... I do like how his whole thing was that he was just really trying to get, like, more obscure guys into the light. Uh didn't quite work for some of them, but, you know. It's cool that he tried. I mean, you know, some of them are playable in an Aki game now, so. Which, uh... Oh. Which, honestly, I still get Riggs and Van Hammer mixed up, just by looking at them in that game. Van Hammer, Riggs, and Sick Boy might as well be the same guy to me, honestly. Holy sick boy has the most interesting name. Yeah. You can't go wrong with a wrestler named Sick Boy. <laughs> I did actually see uh, a match where I was looking up Glacier stuff. Apparently, Glacier had a uh, a Van Hammer Riggs and Sick Boy had the same move sets. But that certainly helps. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Glacier apparently had, uh, a match with, uh, Sick Boy, because, uh, apparently Sick Boy stole the most awesome move in wrestling, the Crayonic Kick. What device do you use the mod N64 games? Well, uh, an emulator? Uh oh We're from ECW now, by the way.
I was planning, I don't know if I put in that list, but I plan to add uh, Billy Idol from Cyberpunk uh, in our mod with one of the extra slots. And uh, I was just going to give him Lodi's moveset. Because, <laughs> you know. Steiner hasn't been in here for, like, forever. <laughs> hey! So is Lita. Can't believe this rumble is Lita and Rick Steiner mania here. Uh, <laughs> safe state? Okay. Come on, man. Just... Why does Raven have, like, the slowest basics in the universe? Where's Maven? He's not in this game. Undertaker killed him. <laughs> also, our arm hurts now. If Rick Steiner doesn't bark, then uh, we know it's not him. Alright, way to just keep pinning us. Get out of here! Jesus Christ! <laughs> After all that time, it's still one count. <laughs> the game didn't die, so. Ah! Chavo's in danger. <laughs> he got eaten by the dog face. And the gremlin. And he's out. Right, let's see. What do we got here? Oh, it's said Vicious. Again, I'm not sure if this is him. I think he might be the second slot, so he might be... He might be him? It's uh. Psycho Sid. <laughs> I like how they just simplified it to be, like, in-game. It's just like, it's just Sid. Just like any of them. Just pick one. Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious, Sid Justice, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wait, that's Lex Luger. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> I mean, Sid Vicious might have Lex Luger's moveset, for all we know. Johnny Rotten is also not in this game. Rick Steiner really loves those low blows. I'll say he loves teleporting. Damn. Alright, who are we now? <laughs> Andy Kaufman. Alright. <laughs> now, let's see if this is really him. It's not. <laughs> I don't know who this is, then. Because he's supposed to have the taunt where he's down. God, get away from me! Did he share a slot with Lawler, maybe? He did. Yeah, I, somehow I remember that. Hey, since he's the w women's in or not national champ, uh, might as well fight uh, Lita. Uh. <laughs> I 
Come on. Damn it. This is both Lita and Rick Steiner. And that's too loud. One second. Okay. Rick Steiner, you need to like go. This is Michelle's theme. A uh, novel about Annie Coffin wrestling. I'm, I'm, I'm totally behind that. Should get more books in general, really. Right, let's see what we got. Oh no. <laughs> He was slot four, so I don't know who this is. Box, box, was Box Panel the same one that did the Tetris graphic novel? If so, like, that's hmm. definitely something I should check out then. Ugh, God. Yeah, Sheldon Benjamin is here just because he was... A gigantic pain in the ass in one of our playthroughs. It's the only reason he's here. I put him in there just because I hoped he would be one of like the opponents, but uh, we just ended up being him. The tables have tabled. <laughs> Sometimes you become the Benjamin. With Lita, man. <laughs> okay, Rick Steiner's sting. <laughs> I think. Oh my god. Get. No! No. You are. D uh that's actually not a glitch, that's just how, that's just how that looks. Uh, it's Sid? Sid? <laughs> He's doing his dance for Lita. <laughs> yeah, the... Fu the funny thing is, one of Chu's basics in my mod is, you know, obviously a headbutt. I don't think it has hit anybody once. One, I just want to keep doing this to it. <laughs> God damn, Lita! All right, who, who's it next now? It's Jazz. Ah, Jazz. Looking way different from what I usually. Uh, every time I see that lady, she looks completely different. She's still like super buff. As she should be. Yeah, it's funny, I've seen her the most in that ECW game, there is like no like pictures of her looking like that that I can find outside of that game. Like, it's weird. She had like hair kind of like mine and she had like glasses, or sunglasses, and I, I can't find evidence that that happened. <laughs> like. Same thing with the cat's blue hair. I've, I, I've seen like two photos of her with that. Real kick. 
This is Nina's theme. God, this doesn't even get her out of the ring. I just realized the clock has now looped. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember it did it in Virtual Pro Wrestling too. Two. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> when Sean goes into like the special mode, it should just start playing his singles theme. <laughs> oh, now he's got a choke slam. Ain't no stopping me now. <laughs> okay. Two, I was half expecting her to just kick out at one. All right, we're down to ten people now. Honestly, in terms of Royal Rumbles in this game, this one is actually going pretty fast. Oh, hey, it's Hebner. So Hebner is slot one, so this is definitely him. Except I think he's considerably buffed from No Mercy, where he just had, like, one stats all around. Oh. Shelton is king? Oh, wait, no, no, he's not. <laughs> That's to say if Kane had that taunt. This one. Well, this could be a Shin Hedner form, it just hasn't, like, fully evolved yet. It should Hebner in spirit. Yeah. He's wearing the normal Hebner skin, basically. Shelton did X-Pac taunts. Oh, oh! Yeah, you know what? We gotta get Steiner out of here. He's been in there too long. And now he's got special again. might not be mashing a button enough, I don't know. Alright. Oh, it's doing. I forget what his one slot was. It might be... Kind of just comes off like him with those taunts. I don't know. Oh, oh! Hebner, come on! You gotta get the dog face gremlin out of here. Hebner, for Christ's sake! There's no reason Did you have for Hebner in No Melly? Uh, I think I, like, put him in the notepad file, but I think I forgot to put him in, like, the <laughs> Google Doc. <laughs> Safe state, yeah. Well, it's because Susan Ackerman's making his, uh, appearance once again. <laughs> he just likes to pop in. See, the thing is, Doink and Twisted Metal 1 was... I mean, Sweet Tooth was just doinking and twist the middle one. The pineapples! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. No! Get... Ugh! Hebner, can you do something about this? You're the ref. I mean, Paul London was the ref too, so... Hebner, why do you keep ruining this for us? <laughs> Doink saying shut up and bleed. <laughs> We 
We might have to get Heather out of here. He's being ridiculous. Just bombarding us with strikes. And he's countering us, because of course this is expert mode. Oh my god! Steiner, for Christ's sake, man! He just won't go. Oh shit! <laughs> Doink and Jazz! That's my favorite tag team. Thank God! Thank you, Jazz! Here we go now. That's Dilo. It's Dilo. He's the rock now, basically. Do you smell what uh, the real deal is now? Gonna kick your candy ass out on the street? Dilo, look at me. Why is everybody beating up on Jazz? Duh. Safe state. I like how, like, it was mostly pretty slow paced, and then, like, during the midpoint, people just kept dropping out, like, every two minutes. Isn't that kind of how most Were Rumbles go? Pretty much. Ugh. supposed to happen. I don't actually, I think Brian Pillman, weirdly enough, might be in the uh, same slot as D-Lo, so... Well, she was the one that proposed Null Bash 2000, so. I think it's the Kokeshi there. Who did, who, who did it? There was a like. Lot. Oh. As soon as Doink starts going, I'm going to clown! Ugh! I can't believe Earl Hebner is, uh... Wait, we taunted him what? Wait, is this... So this is basically Toshinden 3, then. Because I, ta I taunted him and his bar just went to maximum. Hebner got pissed. Yeah. Did we just have 10 counts taunt, then? I can see Doink doing that. <laughs> So by the way, be on the lookout for a 10 count in uh, WDF No Melly, alongside Michael Jackson, because uh, turns out that he was face scanned for uh, Ready to Rumble uh, Boxing 2. Even though he doesn't look face scanned in that game, it's like so cartoony you wouldn't be able to guess, but... Nah. Does that mean Shaq was too? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, I should add him in there too. Uh, we're... We only have so many slots, that's the thing. Because Michael Jackson's just in an alt costume for 10 count. <sighs> Get. Oh, God. I want to see what Ebner's special is. 
What the? Uh. Okay. He did a teleport kick. Jazz is out. Uh. What? Uh. Uh. Hey, it's the juice! Doink tilted his cartridge for a little bit there. Oh. He seems to be okay now, though. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Do we... I don't even know if we safe stayed here. I don't seem to be like... Oh, God. Somebody get me out here! <laughs> Oh god, what is happening to us? Doink with his wacky pranks. Go <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, DBZ it's the transmission. Uh Our existence isn't stable right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to the people that made this mod. I I don't know why it's glitching out this much. Might specifically be Hebner, for all I know. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I d How do we get eliminated? <laughs> Hold on, maybe we should just taunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a DDT match now. Oh, now he doesn't power up? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <Whoop>. <laughs> as soon as the juice came in, it was all over. Hooventude looked at the game carry and he went, Fuck you, toys. <laughs> so either Doink has DBZ powers or Earl Hebner has like fucking telekinesis. It may be both. I'm just trying to. Okay, he's got special, so. <laughs> Earl, come on, man. <laughs> Save us from this purgatory. You have special! Like, just taunt once. That's all you need to do. See, you ruin it. <laughs> this is, uh... <laughs> I'm over here now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> Doink, brah. You're making the game cry, brah. <laughs> Did he just stretch the juice? <laughs> I'm imagining him doing the juice promo, but he's like 50 like feet out of the ring. <laughs> he's just in the crowd going like, I've heard of this Chris Chetty guy. Oh, I gotta restart the music. Okay, he's got special, so he may be able to save us. Or he's just not gonna do it at all. That's, you know, fine, I guess. Okay. If we don't resist... Oh, come what? on! Earl.
This again is Roger's theme. The juice is loose. Okay. <laughs> Wait, this is where we restored? Okay. I will be seeing that in my nightmares tonight. Oh. Damn it! It's like we can't actually purposely. The juice is now turning into pulp! <laughs> I just I like how my favorite mode in wrestling games turned out to be the mode that just makes this game turn into a nightmare basically I'm like trying to get people to eliminate me and they just won't now You can't even, like, step off here. <laughs> this is what I think of the audience here. Yeah, who knows, like, with this mod, honestly. That's oh, wait, is... Are we back to normal? Nope. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you called it for him. <laughs> Actually, we're still playing. <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> okay, I'm fine now. <laughs> That's what dissociation's like. <laughs> oh, we gotta do a highlight reel of this friggin' video. <laughs> yeah, I like how yeah, you when you asked are we back to normal that happened. <laughs> hold, hold my beer that I've been chugging nonstop hence the <laughs> God the, the music's unbalanced right now, but I don't even care. I, I can't focus. <laughs> hold my bootleg t shirts. Damn it! Wait a minute. I didn't, I didn't think we could Damn focus. Damn right he did. I didn't even think we could focus without him messing up. <laughs> the juice is out. I. Oh wait, no, no. Uh, fake D-Lo is. Jesus Christ! That uh, Prince Puma. Maybe if Hemner's out, maybe that'll, uh... <laughs> now, we are just, like, utterly screwed, basically. It's Bam 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 Bigelow. <laughs> what? <laughs> God, they're all, like... <laughs> <laughs> Darth Doink. <laughs> Having a battle royal on Fire Pro with eight lost souls from Doom is an experience, yeah. It's about the same experience as having like eight headless dudes from Serious Sam. <laughs> Probably. If they yell as much. Come on. It's funny when he try to get people to eliminate you they just like do everything but <laughs> this is just like 
leave the controller here to see if anybody will beat me up. Mind you, I left the controller here and this is still happening. He's magnetized. <laughs> yeah, he's like relative to one of the characters. Probably Prince Puma at this rate. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Zoop! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what if we, like, get on the turnbuckle? Wait, what? what? Okay. Yeah, the audience is getting their, uh... Getting their worth right now. I can't wait to see the reviews of, uh... Of the WCW Nitro 2019 Rumble. Oh, thank God. Okay. Eliminated. We're free. We may be free. Ah, now we're staying. It's the man called Steve. I have ten Summoner's Tales to tell you. Yeah, okay. that seemed to fix it. I almost, <laughs> I almost said it again, but then I, I stopped myself. <laughs> I mean, you, you can say it now. Uh, I think we're back to normal. <laughs> wow. <Eliminated>. Okay. <laughs> Normalcy has been restored. And here anyway, <laughs> here's Charlie Haas. So these are our last four. Let's see. I'm trying to think of more songs off of that Sting album I just referenced. That was another album that my... Well, actually, my mom uh, played on loop when I was a kid. One. Doink is the real villain of Showdown 64, yeah. He pranked the game code. Ah! <laughs> Oh, uh, right in the little stingers. Jesus Christ. Oh! <laughs> Yay! Doink Juice it. is the hero of China 64. <laughs> One. I mean, you, <laughs> you don't mess with the juice. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Is it starting again? No, we, we were just temporarily displaced. <laughs> like, yeah, after all that, it's like, oh, yeah, Sting fixes it, and also he's, like, actually Sting. Woo. I honestly, like, mostly only saw that in the game, so I thought he was supposed to be, like, drinking something when he did that. It does kind of look like that. Like he's holding an invisible goblet. Haas doing back there? He I heard hanging on every side. <laughs> I just heard like chest. Oh, he's doing that. Okay. Let's save real quick. Charlie Haas, I swear, if you get the juice out. Then I'll have to say fuck you, like, twice. Charlie Haas, enemy of the state. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I tell you, it is a pleasure for, to be in a juicy house. Oh, hold on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> so, uh... The Juice has also been a guy who's just kind of been, like, kind of been jumping federations, hasn't he? Kinda. I think he mainly works for AAA now. Hmm. Hence the, uh, name tag there, I suppose. It's kind of weird. Actually kind of weird to look back and think that him and Love Parker are both in WCW. It seems, like, so odd now. <laughs> Is Bam Bam also Roddy Piper? <laughs> Oh, wait, that's different. <laughs> wait, he tows he trucks? Oh. oh. It could be Macho Man or Terry Funk. Yeah, I'm not sure. One, two. Wait, <laughs> he's a triple A, so that means he tows trucks now? <laughs> Can imagine like br like having your car break down, and you call for help, and he just pops up. And just a man in a skeleton mask and full skeleton suit just pops out of the car. Yeah. Here, have a seat. <laughs> Actually, in No Melly, I think I'm gonna have to make that one of his all outfits. Just like. It's like. Tote truck driver La Parca? Yeah. <laughs> Hoovy is also going to be uh, in No Melly. He's just going to be exclusively the juice, though. I might make normal Hoovy like an all outfit, but. Also, when I was a kid and I first saw WCW and WWE Revenge, I thought he was just Michael Jackson. <laughs> And it turns out I was far from the first one that thought that. <laughs> right, let's. Oh, Jesus. Okay, what? Uh, who we? <laughs> oh god, did it break again? It broke again. We're fighting him backwards now. We can't grab him. Can he hit us? Oh god. It's broken! Everything is broken! The juice. Victorious. <laughs> that was a hell of a way to end that. Oh, God. I think we should have a proper match after this. Or. Maybe just like one or two matches. Probably one, yeah. Uh, hell in a Cell, yeah. I'm trying to think of who we barely saw. Oh yeah, pa let's have like Paige versus uh... Oh, Juvie versus Doink. Hmm. Let's think of may maybe Doink versus Juice. I don't know. Triple threat. That'll do it. Let's go to Dominion. Uh, yes. Okay, so Doink and Dink. Who I think his move sets are his moves are actually different. 
but uh, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, she was using AJ Lee's and also Lita, so. And where is Hoovy at? There we are. Also, thanks to the way this zoom in works. Check it out. <laughs> Up close and personal. Okay. See you later. Alright. And we got full intros, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was not supposed to show up. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> yeah, just jumping on nothing as he always does. <laughs> Why does that keep showing up? Also, I just looked back on OBS. I forgot to mention. Uh, <coughs> uh, if you notice the uh, now playing text is different, that's because it is. It's Samurai Showdown text. Because Showdown 64 and all that. Gosh, she rocks really slow. <laughs> oh, don't look at me. matchup we got here <laughs> the game breakers versus the game savers <laughs> Tuvin Tudger <laughs> oh my god is that when he clones himself all right hopefully this will not glitch up I'm just gonna save just in case Just staring at him. Juvie, Juvie looked like Michael Jackson in Revenge, but here he looks more like Bret Hart. Yeah, it's funny. Like, it's actually using real pictures of him, but he does look a lot like Bret Hart here somehow. It's like the same outfit and everything. I'm trying to see if they can taunt so I can get confirmation they are who they are. I think with the Royal Rumbles, though, they're the only things that mess it up, so. Doink is in, uh. That's it. Have fun. Right, it's not an overrun thing. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just showing off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, perfect. Uh. Hi, I'm Paige. <laughs> How you doing? It's like <laughs> I just kind of want like like a diehard wrestling fan to just jump in here without context and see these three in the same ring together or the same outside I guess okay uh, game froze This will have to save state like every minute now, I guess.
Okay, just beat her up, why don't you? Okay, Doink's taunts are definitely different, so this is actually him. It's just hard to top that specific section of that rumble. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> magnetic doink is uh is hard to really uh surpass, you know. And somehow the fact that it was doink just made that more perfect. <laughs> Now, triple threats are always weird because it just kind of ends up being like two people beating up on one person. Oh, come on. I turned rope break on. Ugh. My least favorite feature in wrestling games. Who is just beat up Paige? Just trying to. All right, save. <coughs> uh, what was that? <laughs> Let's play pro wrestling. That's what it says in the middle there. I think it was their weird mobile game that I don't know if it's still going or not. Huh. I'm trying to see what else they advertise here. Uh, King Records. I can't see the other things. Uh, wait, is that a Sengoku Basara 4 ad? <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> My favorite Sengoku Basara character, Doink. The juice is just no selling all of that. Paige is just kind of here in this fight. Yeah, right? She just occasionally gets involved. <laughs> and then occasionally she gets, like, knocked out. I probably should have played this, but... It's just like Doink and Hoovy, and then occasionally Paige will just grab one of them. But it's elimination, so, you know, she'll, uh... Well, that's if it, she's the one that doesn't get it eliminated first. She's actually doing really good because of that strategy. Picking her spots. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't fall off that counter, huh? <laughs> I just saw that back, like reverse DT, and I have expected Juby to teleport out of the ring like Sting did. Yeah, those kind of glitches might just be a little Rumble exclusive. Even though the game did just crash outright, but who can say? This is exactly why I'm making a mod that is just like very simple. It's just a graphic mod and a cheat mod. Because like messing with the ROM, 
Uh, well, done right, it does. It done wrong, it does this. So again, I'm not saying the people that made the patch did it wrong. I might have done it, done it wrong, but I I just don't know what's going on with all that. The doink's head is just bobbing up and down now. So far, not a lot has changed. Paige is just uh, building her meter. I have a feeling she might win this. She's just playing it the smartest, you know? D don't shush me, doink. I'm only speaking the truth. Nah, uh, she's got special. Watch her not use it. <laughs> She's not using it. Maybe this is it? Oh, here we go. Little delay there, but it looked okay. <laughs> it didn't break the game. Also, I'll be right back. Okay. out okay back hey. okay got him for like a second who we lost <laughs> oh she just pinned from like the double finishes that she did so She's like killing it in this one. Whoever wins gets to dump the losers in a volcano. There was Inferno matches in uh, ECW Anarchy Rules where you just like threw them out of the ring and they just went like, ah! and then they just went up in flames and that was it. <laughs> God, I, I just wish the acclaim games were much more reasonable to actually control because like. The stuff in them is just so goofy. Yeah, it's charming. But then, like, the actual gameplay is, like... It's weird, because it's simplistic, but they make it so complicated. Because those damn commands. Whereas, like, here, you know, they do the... They do the happy medium of, like, it's a button and a direction. Like, that's... It's not, like, back, down, forward, up, B. You know, like... But speaking of uh, the Acclaim games, uh, we need to put Head in the roster, too. Damn it! Hold on, how far back did we, uh... <laughs> I like how that was D-Lo Brown for a second there. I guess we'll save every minute. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll have to put Head in, uh the no melee roster somewhere I can't I feel like I'm forgetting a diva but oh also uh well damn I wanted to add corporal heart though yeah, I'll figure out what we'll do I guess doink you have special and you're just not using it man Save. I'm hoping she wins this, honestly. <laughs> but Doink's building his meter up again, so who knows? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Changed her mind there for a second, but. And that just did that. <laughs> I 
Oh wow, they're pretty evenly uh, matched there. Stink. <laughs> God, I, I can't tell where this is gonna go. It can honestly go anywhere now. Especially since Doink just never uses his special. Paige does. That's the difference between you and me, Doink. Okay. This is back and forth. Does that mean Hoovy's gonna come out and start, uh... Because he is on ringside, I just don't know if he's doing anything. Safe state, of course. Match just immediately ends as soon as you save state. <laughs> I was half expecting that. <laughs> Good job, Doink. Okay, now use your special. Land it. Okay. One, two. <laughs> wow, apparently, uh, <laughs> even that wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah, pretty interesting, uh, roundhouse kick there. <laughs> Next to how much stuff I had to look up, I think uh, I recognize that as a Kento Kabashi taunt. Because uh, the Executioner had it in uh, Revenge. It was just Kobashi. God damn it. This match will end. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> it just feels a lot longer because I keep having to s save and restore it. Save. Jesus Christ, do <laughs> What the hell are you doing, man? Okay, now Paige. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright, good. I'm gonna save because your finisher scares me. I was about to say, if she got pinned by, like, a hip toss, like... Oh! Damn! 
We're getting closer, though. That much is for sure. It was just very stoic about clipping through him. So like, once again, not really sure how, what to do. Okay. Just, just grab her. What? For sake, Doink. You really are a clown, aren't you? Does this finish her like maybe an air move or something? No! <laughs> he, he did it once! And now he's just like... <laughs> he just lollygags whenever he's in special mode for the most part, whereas Paige is like, I'm gonna actually do my move. Guess their AI is just different. A good running grapple. <laughs> I guess that's a submission, even though I've never seen people submit to it. I don't think you actually can. <laughs> okay, come on. Doink has had special, like, so many times in this match. Yet he isn't doing anything with it. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Now pick her up. Right? Yeah, you made her bleed. Way to go. Alright. <laughs> the magnetic one won. Uh. What? <laughs> Deleted her from existence. <laughs> and he was just like, ah, oh, what the hell, man? All right, well, that does it for Showdown 64. What a time we have had. <sighs> well, I don't know what we're doing next week aside from uh, Fire Pro. We'll but, figure something out. Yeah. Uh, probably something not really uh, wrestling related, because I think... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, some of the yeah these these moments were great. Yeah, I, I feel like even I would have probably preferred a non glitchy copy of this, but honestly, there were some pretty good moments to come out of that. So thank you for clipping those, by the way. I'll have to upload a couple of them. But uh, thanks, Sasha, for being here. No problem. And uh, thank you all for being here. We'll see you next week. See you then.